So this is the edit for the David Kyokuren extension. It starts off really similar. Go into PhotoFox and choose the photograph you want to use. Then I cropped mine at the top and at the bottom first, just to get rid of those black lines that were kind of framing my picture. From there, you want to click in filters and scroll across the filters at the bottom until you find one that you like. So it doesn't have to be two different colours for this one um, because we're going to add the colour with a second layer. So I'm going to use that red filter there for mine. You can use whichever you like. From there, you need to click the plus and add the same image, exactly the same, on top again and then drag it to make it the same size. You want them to be exactly the same size. Then filters and change it again, but a different filter this time because we're going to rub out part of that top filter to reveal the filter from underneath. So at the side, you can see there's two layers. You're going to click on the layer that you've just added, so the top layer, the eraser tool at the bottom, click on that, and then you can start rubbing out all of the section, like one of the sections of your top layer. So I've chosen to rub out the mountain section so I get to have the mountains in red, but keep the sky in yellow. You can see if you click on the eraser tool again, and then at the side, a little kind of options menu will pop up, and that lets you change the size of your brush. So if you found that it was too big at first and difficult to get all of the neat bits, like around this top ridge line, then you can click on that and make your brush size smaller so that it's easier to get across that ridge line. So you need to make sure you've done the whole of the thing before you go any further. If you do make like a little mistake, then you can just click the back button at the bottom on the left and that'll take off the last little bit you did. So there I've made a mistake, I've gone too high. If I click that back button, it'll go. You don't have to start all the way over again, it just takes off the last bit of movement that your finger did. I want mine to be as neat as I can around the top, so I'm just making sure now, I'm being really careful with my rubbing out to make sure that that top ridge line stays nice and neat. Just takes a little bit more care and a little bit more concentration than your other one but it gives you greater variety on the different colours that you can have. So you completely get to change the two layers and you're not relying on just the hue. From there, when you're happy, click on the top layer, hold it over the other one and click merge. That'll make it into one photograph. And from there you can export and save it to your camera roll.